All right, so we're here. We got a tank that uh, you can't see it as much now because we got the water out of it. But if you look there, you see the graying of the silicon. Right in there, there's a bubble, et cetera, et cetera. So anyhow, this is a tall tank. So rather than uh, wait until we had a flood, we came here and all the fish are in these buckets. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the tank, sit on our butts for long enough for it to get a skin on it, clamp her up, fill her up with water, and away we go. Okay, so my cameraman will now take the, don't drop it in the water. Um, <laughs> it makes the video very short, because all of a sudden, it ends. Okay, so we did the boring stuff without being on camera, because, well, but frankly, you've all seen this many times before. So, we got the uh, old silicon taken out. We cleaned it all up with um, steel wool. What did you do with the alcohol? There's the alcohol. Okay, I'm not disorganized any more than I always am. So everything has to be really nice and clean because silicon won't stick to a greasy surface for long term. It'll stick for a little bit, but, you know, I have a forever guarantee on all my repairs. If they ever leak, I come back and fix them forever, and I've never had to come back. So I don't want to have to come back. Because, well, that one is free. This one paid for. I like paid. Okay, so clean everything up with alcohol. Put some alcohol on it. George Banford. George Banford. Well, the alcohol he's talking about is whiskey. Okay, very important that we get this nice and clean. These are my old tape marks. Because they take my glass, but. I leave it outside so the tape gets kind of weathered. We had a blizzard last night. Well, you guys from Toronto will know that. Well, this will be on YouTube too, because I'll post the boat. So, people on YouTube aren't necessarily in Canada. Well, heck, not everybody on Facebook is in Canada either. What do you guys all do? Yeah, I'm just repeating myself for conversation, really. Okay. That's good, that's good. Okay, dry it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the least obtrusive place so that it'll look good. Paper towel, paper towel. Because we don't want it to get any grease on it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a big wad of silicon. Because we're going to scrape off the excess, but you can't put any more on once you've started. So I'd rather use a little bit too much than not enough. And no. And it's, you use less silicone if you put it on the glass than if you put it on the uh, tank. It's just a little more awkward, but remember, even if you touch this part of it, that's not the important part. You just make sure that at least half of the thing doesn't get touched. Okay. That's the spec. I probably should have did this because I want to do this. Down at the bottom. Now. That's not all that cleaned out because, well, I can't. 
but it doesn't matter because the leak is starts at here. Okay, and goes to here. All right, so this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Make sure you get the right end. Okay, so we stick the piece of glass in on an angle, not quite into the corner, and then we squeeze. So see, come around to the front. See how the silicon oozes in between the glass. Okay, and this is all filled up. See how nice and pretty that is? Then you take your file, because you've got to push hard. Push in, push in, and you push in, and you push in, and you push in, and you push in, in. Okay, so see now, what we did was in effect, we made a whole brand new seat. Get that into position. And then, the reason I use a file is because it has force. Press the glass really good. Okay, so you want to make sure you got no bubbles between the glass and the silicon. Take your uh, paint scraper. And you clean up all the excess silicon. So that it looks all nice and pretty. There is oxygen in water. Six to seven parts per million, approximately. Depending on temperature and other factors. So, we try to get most of it off with this. Gas that it gives off. Alright. That gives you a nice clean line. You don't have to go any lower than the trim. You can't see it, and I can hardly reach it any now. Okay, so then I get a razor blade, one of the safety blades, you know, the back. That takes the last of it off. Any seam you have, this works on it. I've picked hundreds and hundreds of tanks. I buy a half a sheet of glass, cut into strips at a time. That's uh, these are 82 inches long, and it's like seven pieces on a half a sheet. Like we're talking the big sheets, like what my uh, wholesaler gets. And if you work fast. Uh, 
All right. So we're going to let this skin up and then we're going to put everything back in. So for the next little bit, we're just going to sit and well, probably wait to watch Facebook while I'll post it. Okay, bye.